Hello guys, welcome to another video with Programming Knowledge. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on Elasticsearch and programming, do subscribe to the channel. This video is a continuation of a playlist called as uh, Elasticsearch Tutorials where we dive deeper into Elasticsearch, the ELK stack, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana and we try to learn how Elasticsearch works and how we can use that in our own projects to handle our data better. So this is the next video on it. In today's video, uh, we'll go through documentation. Uh, as I've been talking about in the previous videos that uh, the Elasticsearch documentation is the best way to learn about Elasticsearch. The documentations are really clear. They are not complicated at all and they are straight to the point. In this video, we'll talk about query and filter context. We'll understand what a query means and what the word filter or the keyword filter means in the Elasticsearch queries. And we'll also talk about what is the difference between them. We'll talk about re 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 relevant scores and how all of it matters. And in the next video, we'll actually uh, write some of our own queries. So we'll actually uh, form a situation where we have to use Elasticsearch. We'll form a situation where we want to use query and filter in context and the next video will actually write down some queries so that we can actually learn from them and see if they can be implemented on a real database. So let's start. So uh, before we jump on to this, uh, let's just make sure that we have Elasticsearch running and Kibana running. So let me just go and do that right now. I don't know if we need if we need to get it running for this video or not, but let's just find out. So Elastic search and it's running and open a new tab so that we can run Kibana as well. So let me just clear this, go to Kibana, bin and run Kibana the same way we run Elasticsearch. So looks like Elasticsearch is ready. And now we are waiting for Kibana to run. So let's wait for that. And yeah, so Elasticsearch is running right now at 9300 port. And the cluster indices have been recovered from red to yellow, so they're good to go. So you might not always be green, your cluster health. Or sometimes it gets to yellow, and uh, there is a reason for that. But uh, since this is just a video to teach about query and filter, we will not worry about the health of the clusters. And yeah, so even Elasticsearch and Kibana both are running. Let's just make sure that they are running on the browser as well. So port 9300, 9200 is the publisher term, sorry. Let's just make sure that it's running. Yes, it is. And let's just make sure that Kiwana is running as well. So it is running at 5601 port of localhost. Once we get these running, we can start with understanding what query and filter mean. Yes. So let's come back here. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the basics of searching, how we can search in Elasticsearch. Uh, we wrote, uh, we talked about some simple queries which were given in documentation. And uh, there was something called as a relevant score Right, when you get the output of an Elasticsearch query. So we have to talk about that first because it's the most important thing uh, which Elasticsearch provides. So by default, Elasticsearch uh, uh, you know, matches the search results by something called as relevant scores. So what a rele relevant score does is that it measures how well each document matches a query. So we'll understand how perfectly the document which you're searching for fits the query and assigns a score to it. So the relevant score is a positive floating point number and it's under the underscore score meta field of the search API. So and the relation between uh, the score and the relevance is proportional. So the higher the score, the more relevant the document is. And while each query type can calculate relevant score differently, Score calculation also depends on two important things. So it depends on the query or the filter context. So let's talk about query first. Uh, in the Elasticsearch uh, context, a query basically answers this question. How well does this document match the query clause? So how well does this document match what you're asking for? 
So if I if I have a query which says that, try to find all the documents which match the word uh, Python. So and if I have a database full of Python notebooks or Python uh, teaching books, then it will match all the books which have the clause Python in it. And for example, if there is a book called as the uh, Introduction to Python, that might get a really high uh, high relevance score than something as a programming languages Python and many more. So how you phrase your query is going to define the relevance score and give a relevance score to it based on the query which you write. So that is something uh, what query means. Let's go to the filter context now. So filter is basically as the name suggests a filter for yes or no. So it just checks whether the document matches the query clause or not. So unlike uh, query, uh, the query context, it does not uh, care about how relevant it is. It just cares whether it matches document or not. So you can think of the query context as linear regression where you have continuous variables and you can think about filter context as a logistic regression problem where you have different classes and you just don't have continuous variables but discrete variables here. So it's either yes or no, a binary classification and here you can get continuous results based on the relevant score you have. So basically, uh, just to understand how filter context means with an example, uh, we talked about uh, using uh, having a query which matches the document which have the word Python in it. Now I only want the books of Python which are between 2015 and 2016. So I'll have a filter where I will want the query to only search for books which are greater than or equal to 2015 and less than and equal to 2016. So if uh, so how it works is that Elasticsearch behind the scenes will go through all your documents. It will check for the range and if the range is under, uh, if the range is correct for the document, then it is yes, the answer is yes and the docu document is shown to you. If it's no, then it's not shown to you. So it ans answers a simple question, which is does this document match the query clause or not? So frequently uh, filters will be cached automatically. So this is how it works behind the scenes and your uh, performance will be very fast. Then let's see an example of how filter and query work. So we have a very nice example here given by Elasticsearch directly. So we are going to search, use the search API. We have a query, indicates query context. Then we have a bool. Bool is basically having multiple queries inside one single query. So if you want to have multiple things uh, to be extracted from the documents, you use bool. We talked about this in the previous video. Next, uh, must match. So the query must match the title search. It must match the content elastic search. So what it means is that until now, find all the documents which match the title as search and it matches the content as elastic search. Next, let's filter. Let's filter the term as status is published. So it will only put, uh, get the documents which have the title search, content elastic search, and they are published. And they have a range. So if it's published after 2015. So what this query here is doing is that it's using both query and filter in its context and giving us back uh, the data where uh, the document title matches search the document content matches Elasticsearch. Uh, it is published and the published date is greater than 2015. So this is how uh, we can use complicated queries and simplify them and use them using Elasticsearch. And in the next video, we'll actually write our own situations where we have to use some query and filters to understand how these work better. Thank you.